Hello everybody, this is Moshe, the electric Israeli, and I'm driving with no hands. No, I'm not driving, she's driving. The electric Israeli. <laughs> I found out that when we do videos together, I get the most views and the most comments. Everybody likes our interaction. I think they like you more than me. I'm not and, surprised. And I'm not, I don't, not surprised and I don't blame them. <laughs> Anyways, today's video is gonna be, actually, by the way, we came from a lovely lunch. Service stunk, but the lunch was good. One of them Jersey diners. If, Jersey you, ever, diner. if you ever come to Jersey, you gotta go to a diner. By the way, I'm sorry if you don't hear me well, is because my microphone is in the Nissan Leaf and we are driving the Chevy Volt. And the subject of this video is the Chevy Volt because we are reaching a milestone and it is 40,000 miles. We drove this car 40,000 miles in less than two years. We bought it in, in January of 2016 and it's now November, so it's about what, 18 months? November, December, January, no. Almost two years. Almost two years, yes. Almost two years, uh, 22 months actually. 22 months of this car. And let me give you a little stats first of all. Uh, we are averaging 130, 23 miles per gallon since we started driving the car uh, uh about i would say 80 percent of the driving is on ev when was the last time you put fuel in this gas three, in this car? at least three weeks ago at least three weeks ago i go i go way longer than that though with no gas yes i mean it's like usually it's like every two three months right if i'm just driving basically to and from yeah. work every day yeah two or three months so and, and, and what happened when you do need to put gas? I always forget. And then what happened? <laughs> it warns me. And then who does it actually? Oh, you do. You, you. Do. yeah, me. <laughs> so when was that? When did you actually pump gas in this I, car? Um, Never, you can say. No, they I know. did. Know. In August, I went to Baltimore. In August? I my own gas. Oh, thank God. Because uh, maybe I should have come with you. Anyway. I can do it. I know you can do it, but you just don't. I don't have to. That's why we got the car. To. Move your hand, Danny. You're taking the whole uh, screen. All right. All right. Anyway, so putting gas in his car is a rare occasion. Yes. Uh, because the second generation Volt has a huge battery. We get uh, literally 50 to 58 miles, a pure electric miles in the summer and 40, uh, probably around 40 in the winter and by the way winters became very rare in new jersey we have Lately. very little winter anyway it's another subject that doesn't matter so uh so from uh, from electric uh driving point of view this is as close as you get to pure electric car because most of your driving is electric right that's correct most of the driving is electric and the beauty of it is that you can go anywhere you want so we go visit our son in Baltimore. She's going next uh, week to Pennsylvania with a friend. So you can still get it. And uh, we basically get uh, 40 to 40 miles per gallon on um, a 200, 300 miles drive with one charge, with one charging, uh, especially when we go to Baltimore. So it's great. So how do you like the drive? You drive this car 90% of the time. so. How do you like it, my dear? No, I love it. You know, it's a great car. I, love, I mean, for me, you know, I don't care as much. I'm not an enthusiast. It's just got to get me where I'm going. And I really do love the fact I never have to get gas. We used to have that. Uh, I used to drive the... Uh, Ford Explorer. 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 I was at, literally at the gas station like every four days. Um, not only And not only that, that I have to go, but I had to spend like 50 bucks every 50 time. 50 bucks of uh, a feeling. And that was like when, you know, the prices were so high. So that really hurt. And, um, you know. It gets me where I'm going. It's comfortable and everything works. So. Did you get used to the, the... I mean, it's not... The visibility here is an issue. Yeah, well, you get used to it, obviously. You I mean, it's never been a problem. Yeah, it's, just, it's a low car. It's a low car. You have these have big things the, the it's back. Called, it's called the A-pillar. What's it called? A-pillar. A-pillar? Did you know that? I did not know that. Uh, so now you do. 
because I'm the electric Israeli. I know stuff like this. Anyway, but you get. I mean, it, it is. A, it is an obstruction, right? I like you get. You know, whatever car you're in, you get used to it. You get used to it. What is anything you don't like about this? I mean, it takes a while to warm up. We've discussed that before. You know, when it is really cold, it takes a while to warm up. Unlike the leaf, it warms yeah, up. Yeah, that warms up immediately. It warms immediately, yes, I know. This, they have something called resistive heating. And the leaf has a heat pump. Uh, so it's independent from the engine. And the leaf literally warms up in 60 seconds. Literally. And I don't know why they have it here. I have no idea. We can, we can get into it, but... It does take a while, and you have to put it on max mode mm -hmm. to get to get warm. But once it gets warm, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it has the, the warm heating. It has the, the, uh, the, the, the steering seat, wheel and the, the seats. seats. get warm, so... So, uh, that's good. That's fine. fine. It's a great car. Anything else you don't like? No. Don't How's like the it. cargo? The what? The cargo? You like the cargo yeah, space? The cargo yeah, we great. took Jesse when we went to college, and we fit everything in it. So it is, and we Look have the that. universal uh, roof racks, mm -hmm. and the Thule trunk. And it's really, it's really a nice little family car, mm -hmm. you know, for four people. You can fit five, but you have to be small and short legs <laughs> <laughs> to fit in the back. Not our family. No, no not us. I'm 6'2", and so I have to sit in the front. Anyway, so um, uh, it's been great. I mean, in the, in the right quality, how about the electric drive? Yeah, you like the electric. You don't like it when it goes on gas, no, right? No, and you can feel it. You, you know, can when feel it. Goes it. Gas, the gas mode is not. It's not pleasant, right? Whatever. I mean, it makes a lot so, of noise. So, right? so again, I'm mostly on electric, so when it goes on gas, I notice it, but it yeah. doesn't happen that often. And you like the speed, the acceleration? I don't notice. I guess. So acceleration <laughs> is when you press on the I pedal. Mean, it goes, Moshe. Hey. Like that's all I care about. It goes. That's See what I have to thing. deal with? She doesn't it even goes. know. Whatever, it it's, goes. Right, you just go with the flow. I'm serving. Okay, yes, the acceleration is fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're trying to change the world one electric car at a time. Well, That's... I'm impressed. It's at 40,000 miles. It certainly doesn't feel like it. You know, other cars at 40,000, things start to go wrong, whatever. Yeah. Nothing like that. It's, it's po -po. great. Poo poo, everything's great. So, we, you know, we went on a few long trips with it. And we're, yeah, we took it to Florida. We may be taking it again to Florida. This we took year. it to Florida. We took it to Quebec. Yeah. We took it to Baltimore a few times. We're taking it to Pennsylvania. And we're going to Florida again in mm -hmm. December, to Orlando. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it's an all, all purpose car. And you never have to worry. In 90, 85, 90% of your time, it's an electric car. It's really a good idea. Yeah. It's a fabulous idea. I mean, well, obviously we love the pure electric. I mean, I love the Leaf because <laughs> that's the ultimate, but it's very limiting. It's very limiting. Other than Tesla, uh, it's hard to like go anywhere you want with another pure electric because you really have to know where you're going and this and that. But that's another subject. So this is a very good uh, bridge technology until, um, until electric chargers are everywhere. So what's our message to, to our to our new subscribers actually what we want them to do to no, buy an electric car not only that that it can really serve all your purposes it can, serve it really can, as it can. it's good for a family it's also good for single yeah. or for a couple right. it's really good now a Chevy Volt is not the only plug-in hybrid there's the Prius Prime and the and the Hyundai I mean almost every the, 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 remember the Ford Fusion we had but really the Chevy Volt got it because the electric miles are so tremendously uh, you know there's a lot of miles 50 miles is a lot of miles for the day to day day to day so it really feels like an electric car all the time yep. it does feel like an electric car all the time so you don't think about it I mean putting gas two or three times a year you know and even if you do that it's a small tank it's only nine gallons so when we put gas it's like 10 yeah, bucks right so it's really, it's like 30, 40 bucks a year. We used to put that in a week. Not in a week, in a, in a pub, in, in a one time. Anyway, so um, it's really good. So we like it, we love it. It's it's a great car. And uh, please, please, please change the world. One electric car at a time. And we need to buy it in masses. So all kinds of uh, federal tax incentives that 
being threatened to be taken away from us will mean nothing because everybody will have it and there will be no need. It will scale to a point that the prices will go down naturally, organically. That's that. Thank you everybody for watching and continue subscribing to our channel and share my videos, our videos, because we want to spread the word. Put it on your Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is that you do. That's the most important thing. I'm only one person and I do my best, but I need your help uh, to spread the word. So the best thing is to share and make a comment and to like it so other people can watch it and do the same thing. I am, I am personally responsible for having so many people, both on the YouTube channel, people that I know per personally who switched to electric car because of what I do. And it's very important to me since I was a child. So um, to, to care of the environment, it's, it's a value, it's a religious value that we live by, that we have to care for God's earth. So it's, 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 it's a godly mission as well, not just, it's not just personal. So uh, please share, share, share. Spread the good word. I need you all to do that. Thank you, everybody. And catch you on your one electric car at a time. And I'll see you next time on another episode with the Electric Israel.